Chapter 23. Dad, we're home, I yell, hoping he doesn't come out of his office dressed in penguin boxer shorts or something else totally embarrassing. Be right there, he calls from his office. Miss Myers stands in our foyer and wrings her hands as if she's about to meet someone important, like John Stewart. It's just my dad, I want to say. Who do we have here? Dad asks, walking towards us, wearing jeans and a t-shirt. He looks at Sophie. You're definitely not Elliot. Sophie tilts her head. Uh, no, I'm Sophie, he says. She says, thrusting her hand toward Dad. Hi, Sophie. Dad shakes her hand. And I'm Miss Myers. Glad to meet you, Dad says. Your son says you write. Dad shoots me a stern look. Yep, I told her you write articles for the paper. Ah, yes, Dad says. Articles, come in. Sophie pulls on my pinky finger. Well, we need to go up and work on our science project, I say. Okay, Dad says as Sophie and I charge upstairs. I hear Dad offer Miss Myers a cup of coffee. She stammers, I, I'd love to, but don't want to keep you from your work. I'm done for the day, Dad says. Atop the stair, Sophie says, is she annoying or what? I shrug, thinking about how Mom used to read Elliot's aura or talk about his energy field whenever he came over. Elliot and I would laugh about it later, but it was embarrassing, especially the time Mom told him he was Julius Caesar's bodyguard in a past life. Your mom seems okay, I say. I think I'm taking Sophie to my room to show her one of the talk time videos, but I detour instead to Sophie's door. I know I'm here to show off, Sophie. My sister's room, I say, and knock. Just as yell Lindsay yells, enter, I remember that she might have zit begone cream slathered all over her face. Maybe we should go to my room instead. Come in, Lindsay yells in a ferocious voice. I crack the door. Hey, Lindsay, you busy? She swivels around from her computer. Of course I'm busy, moron. I'm in high school now. Her face is zit cream free. I sigh and open the door all the way to let Sophie in. Oh, hi, Lindsay says. You're not Elliot. What is it with people? This is Sophie. She came over to work on a project. Hey, Sophie. When Sophie wanders to Lindsay's CD rack, I'm afraid my sister's going to yell at her to get away from her stuff, but she doesn't. Instead, she gives me two thumbs up. My neck gets warm. You like Ben Harper? Lindsay asks. Sophie shrugs. My mom makes me listen to classical CDs. I wish I had a collection like this. I can burn anything you like, Lindsay offers. Really? <laughs> Definitely. Thank you, Lindsay Melanie Greenberg, for being nice to Sophie and for not having zit be gone cream on your face. I pull my shoulders back. We're heading to Bubby's now. Good luck, Lindsay says and flops onto her bed. When we're out of the room, Sophie whispers, I like your sister. She's okay, sometimes. Downstairs, Miss Meyer is still chatting with Dad, so I grab Sophie's elbow and we duck past the kitchen and head to Bubby's apartment. Sophie's peppermint whisper on my ear surprises me. What's a Bubby? I lean close. It's a Yiddish word for grandmother. Oh, Sophie says as Bubby do Bubby's door swings open. Her apartment smells like cinnamon. Bubby, this is Sophie, one of my friends from school. Bubby takes Sophie's cheeks in her wrinkly palms. I'm so glad to meet one of David's little friends. Uh, Bobby, I say, pulling Sophie out of her clutches. We stop by to say hi, but we have to head up to my studio now. Oh, your studio. Bobby pretends to grab onto the lape onto lapels and struts around her living room. Even a big shot star needs to eat. Bobby winks at Sophie, grabs our hands, and guides us to the table in her tiny kitchen. You can go to your studio after you nosh on a little Jewish apple cake. Just baked. Sophie stares at Bubby with wide eyes, and I can't tell if she likes Bubby or is overwhelmed. Eat, Bubbles, Bubby says, sliding plates of cake in front of us, along with get glasses of soy milk. I hope Sophie doesn't think soy milk is weird. Bubby watches us eat, every bite. You can't refuse, Bubby. A Jewish grandmother trying to feed you is more persuasive than the heads of the mafia, the CIA, and the FBI combined. It's delicious, Sophie says about 20 times. May I have the recipe? I know she's just kissing up, but it makes Bubby glow. Of course, shape Ponem. Sophie tilts her head. Tell you later, I whisper. The minute Sophie enters my room, she looks, zooms to Hammy's cage, opens the lid, and cups Hammy in her hands. 
Mom won't let me have pets, Sophie says, nuzzling Hammy's fur. Too many germs, too much trouble, allergies shedding, blah, blah, blah. Sophie kisses Hammy on the top of his head. You are the cutest thing ever, she coos to him. You don't have any bad germs, do you? Lucky hamster. I walk over and pet Hammy with my fingertip. Now you've met the whole family. This is Hammy the... Sophie lets out a peel the wallpaper off the walls shriek. Before I can restart my heart and ask what's wrong, Sophie's mom bursts through the door. How'd she get up here so fast? What? Miss Meyer's eyes are the size of matzo balls. She rushes to Sophie and flings her arms around her shoulders. Oh, thanks goodness I hadn't left yet. What's? That's when Miss Myers notices Hammy in Sophie's hands and leaps backward. Sophie cracks up, holding Hammy way out in front of her. What's going on? Dad asks, stepping into the room. Yeah, what's going on? Lindsay asks, pushing past Dad. Sophie offers Hammy up like a gift. He, he peed on me. She bursts out laughing again. Lindsay laughs too. Then me. And Dad. He's contagious. But Miss Myers doesn't catch it. She rummages through her purse with a vengeance and thrusts a container of antibacterial liquid at Sophie. Here. Sophie takes the bottle. I put Hammy back into his cage and lead Sophie to the bathroom to wash her hands. When we return, Dad is scrubbing the carpet with an old washcloth and Sophie gives the antibacterial stuff back to her mom, who retrieves it with a tissue. Sophie, are you ready to go? Mom, she says, I just got here. Well, Miss Myers looks at Hammy. She's welcome to stay for dinner, Dad says. Yeah, Lindsay says, secretly winking at me. Bubby cooks great dinners. Miss Meyer looks as each, at each of us as though she's deciding if we're serial killers. Then she looks at Sophie, who is nodding like crazy. I guess that'll be okay. I do have to run a few errands. How about I pick you up at, she looks at her watch, 7.30. Yes, Sophie says. Her mother comes over and whispers something in her ear. I won't touch the hamster, Sophie says.